is Amy McFerrin. Um, I want to be baptized today to rededicate my life to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I grew up from the first memories um, knowing Jesus and loving Him. He was my best friend and I wanted to grow close to Him. But as I grew older and things got more difficult, I didn't use God's Word as the final word when I made a decision in some of my choices in life. And I ended up pregnant at the age of 21 and was very happy. It was an unplanned pregnancy. I was unmarried, but I wanted this baby. And the father um, of the baby pushed me to the decision to abort. Emotional repercussions that um, just devastated my life. About five years later, I married a man who, on my wedding night, um, became abusive. I stayed married for 27 years, and during that time, became more and more isolated in this marriage. I lost my friends, I lost my family, I lost my faith. I stopped reading the Bible. And I just started breaking down at the very end. And, but I knew that there was a God. I didn't know his name anymore, but I knew he was there. And I just started crying out to our Creator to please help. And I received a card from my mother, who she had started going to Grace. and. They had prayed over this card and sent it to me, and I received it on a perfect day. And I reached out to my mother, and I had a way of escape. And then I went to the library and I found a book about abuse. It gave me a clear direction that I was in an abusive relationship and that I needed um, for my own safety to walk away, which wasn't the answer that I was asking from God. I wanted healing in my marriage, um, but that's an answer. <laughs> so I walked out the door and never turned back. And the very next day I, I came here to Grace Church with my mom, and I've been coming ever since. Uh, they say when you've been through trauma like this that uh, your brain's been altered, and it's just going to take months, if not years, to heal. I came back to my faith in Jesus last summer. It took a while, but I just kept sitting at Grace and singing and listening. And um, I didn't know how the people in the church would accept me if they knew, but I kept coming anyway and just absorbing the good and just trusting God that He would lead me. I am still in the healing process, so I stopped gripping and I just opened up my hands and just trusted that the Creator would be the one to lead me and that He would direct my path and it would all be good, and it is. Proud you, Amy, because your profession of faith in Jesus, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, thank you so much for Amy. Lord, thank you for her life. Lord, thank you for rescuing her. Lord, for saving her, uh, for what you're doing in her life now and in the many days ahead. We pray for that healing, that it would continue, that you would be her healer, her comforter, 
the Lord and just the community around her that we keep um, loving her and supporting her through this journey. We love you. I'm just proud of her and proud of you, Jesus. In your name, amen. Hey, thanks for watching Amy's story with me. My name is Pastor Robbie and I'm super proud of Amy. I love her. I love what God's doing in her life and on this healing journey that she's on. A few things that she talked about in her story, uh, abuse, abortion, divorce, uh, some pretty heavy pain that she's been through. Yet a lot of hope, right? Through Christ, she's found a lot of hope and just the community of other people helping and walking this with her. If you need some help, if you need some hope, um, we'd love for you to check out the Care and Help page up here. You can find out some different groups, um, some different ways to interact with us. Again, we don't have to do this alone. We'd love to walk this through with you. Um, for some other stories of, of hope and some different uh, journeys that people are on, uh, please click down here. Thanks for spending this time with us.